you welcome to the last training video for love family and purpose this is the voice of prince victor matthew i want you to know that family is about household household is about compatibility and complementary household that means there must be an intentional effort to keep the home very important it's not just about a house physical building it's about individuals who are related by blood and related by purpose this is what family is all about a family is a sense of belonging a sense of acceptance without judgment and discrimination. Family doesn't begin with a father and a mother. Family begins with a husband. And I have discovered that a husband is a role, is a job description. There is no Greek word, no Latin word in describing what a husband is. A husband is a role, is a description of how to behave in the family according to your purpose and your calling. You can be a successful person in business and not be a successful husband. And being a husband is different from being a father. You are a husband to your wife. You are a father because you bear seeds and you take care of the seeds. Father is a word that describes source, root, the origin of a thing. That's what fatherhood means. It's not about giving birth to a physical children alone, even though that is a must in the family. Being a father is the ability to bet a seed. Not just bet the seed alone. Take care of the seed. Become responsible for the seed. Protect the seed. And make sure the seed is found in purpose. So who is a wife? A wife is a role. It's a job description. That is not what your entire life is all about. And being a husband is not what your entire life is all about. So aside being a husband, who else are you? Your husband, I mean, being a husband is a, is, is a description of how to function in the family. That's not your identity. <laughs> being a wife is a description of how to function in the family. That's not your identity. So aside being a husband and aside being a wife, what else do we this word remember you for? What else are you known for? What value are you giving? Because being a wife is only within the family, within marriage. Of what use are you to people outside your home? Life is bigger than being a husband. Life is wider than being a wife. And being a wife is different from being a mother. The word mother is life sustenance. The man gives you the seed. You sustain the seed. You sustain the seed. So you must understand that the beginning of a family is a healthy 
relationship between a husband and a wife. If you feel as a husband, you would definitely feel as a father. If you feel as a wife, you definitely feel as a mother. The ability to be a good father, a godly father, is in the act and culture of loving your wife. The ability of being a good wife, a godly wife, is the ability to submit to your husband, to cooperate with your husband. And this is where children comes into play. So from the union of husband, wife, father, and mother, children are bettered as the responsibility of the man and the woman or the father and the mother. You see, this is where problem comes and there is a distraction of interest. It is wrong to misplace priority. You're a father to your children, but you're a husband to your wife. You're a mother to your children, but you're a wife to your husband. So in the order of priority, it is wrong as a husband for you to change the order. When it comes to how you relate to your wife and to your children, in the order of priorities, your wife comes first as a husband. Your wife comes first. Then your children. That is the plan of God. Because if you succeed in being a good father and you become a bad husband to your wife it will affect the future of your children because the first classroom of human relationship development your children will learn is in how they see their father relate with their mother do not give the love of your wife to your children is an error that your children know secrets about you that your wife does not know. It's an error. In the order of priority as a wife, your husband comes first. Oh yes, your husband comes first. You don't give the love of your husband to your children. It's an error. Neither do you discuss affairs between you and your husband with your children. There is a communication between father, children, and mother. But there is another communication between husband and wife, which the children are excluded from. It takes a father and a mother to parent. Parenting is a father and a mother work. And parenting is a job of training children into purpose, not into what you want them to be. It's an error that because you are angry with your spouse that you poison the heart of the children against their father or against their mother. It's an error. You think you are doing the child a favor, but you are, <laughs> you are hurting the child in future. We have many adults who are dysfunctional because of biasness in relationship. Their mother took them more priority than their father, or their father took them as a priority than their mom. It's not a battle, never make you feel it's a battle to prefer your children above your spouse, no. Your cooperation with your spouse is the best way to train your children. This is family. I hope you've gotten value for your time. This is family. God bless you.